Chainlink as an Oracle platform that powers the majority of DeFi, enables the most amount of real world asset tokenization of any other system, and is now leading the move of institutions into the world of digital assets and tokenization, is really only possible because Chainlink, as an Oracle platform that does all these things, does a multitude of different operations, right? So the, the difference between a data oracle and an identity oracle and a connectivity oracle and an AI oracle is actually quite large. They're, they're all oracles in the sense that they create a critical connection with another system and they validate and make that connection reliable. But you have never up until this point in, in our industry had a single platform where all these different type of oracles could be composed, where you can compose multiple data oracles, connectivity oracles, an identity oracle. And this means that you can now build these next generation enterprise smart contracts, which are really just a composition of different contracts on different chains together with many different oracles for identity, data, connectivity. This actually gives rise to a new type of oracle, which is an orchestration oracle. And the orchestration oracle really lives within CRE at its very core, because CRE does all of the orchestration of all the other components. So it takes all of the chains, all of the contracts, all of the oracles, and it organizes them through one piece of code into a single enterprise smart contract. So the Oracle platform approach of Chainlink really puts it in a category of its own in that no other system in our industry today can compose for you multiple chains, multiple contracts, multiple oracles on multiple topics into a single application. And that makes Chainlink, in my opinion, pretty unique and pretty important in how our industry is gonna evolve from here especially if you care about institutional adoption, and especially if you believe that enterprise smart contracts are gonna be the future of our industry.